this is one you this one you can get the kids involved and they can they can do a bunch of stuff like that. Right, you can prep it the night before. This is the ultimate tailgate food or any kind of party because you prep it the night before and cook yep. it. Uh, if you go online, you'll see all kind of recipes for it. But this is my twist that I came up with. First off, you start with a pork loin chop. And what I had done, the first batch I made, put that right there, show there you the go. first batch I made that was not cubed and it had a lot of prep time to it. So if you go to your butcher and have them trim the fat off the pork wow. loin uh, chop Sorry. and cube it, it makes it a lot easier to prep. And the first step you do, you lay your, your chops out. That's called the cuber, right? Cuber, just like cubed steak. You, yep. They run it through the cuber. Sit back. And what you do right here to... This is the fun part. This is the one the kids can do. Yeah. What? I don't... A little technical difficulties. There you go. Now <laughs> we got it. Now we got it. Okay, what you do, you put your pork loin chop in a bag. Take your hammer tenderizer. all the difference yeah. in the world. Yeah, because with it not cubed, it takes forever yeah, it takes to hammer forever, it out. Yeah. All right, let me ask you a question before you go any further. Where do you get one of these at? Uh, I'll be honest with you, Mike, that thing's probably 50 years old. Okay. And my son, I found out about it when he was two. He hit me in the head with it <laughs> when I was sick on the couch. I got all right. Mike, I got mine from this place called Amazon. Okay. That uh, They're cheap. Mine's a metal one. Mine's not yeah. that neat, though. That's one like my mom had. What you do when you're hammering it out, just go in a circle and kind of make it go out like that without bunching of any any holes in it. No, Steve, Steve what, what? And, and the important thing is when you're rolling these things up, do you want it to be longer like that? Like, like, with, like which way are you going to roll it first? We're going to roll it like this. Okay, so you want it to be a little long maybe? Yeah. Is it longer better than... Tall. Yeah, I mean, you can do it either way, but okay. I think the appearance-wise, okay, looks a lot better. Okay, I've done that. The reason I asked that, because mine looks like football. Yeah, because you, ro you rolled them that way. I rolled them the wrong way. Whatever I did, I rolled them wrong. Right. Okay, the next step, I'm going to use, uh, I love this stuff right here that you get here, tiger tail, uh, spicy maple mu brown mustard. That is, that's ultimate right there. And yeah, we got all kinds of flavors there, too. So yeah. you just put... A little bit on there, spread it out, and I'll take a little bit of the Cubano rub right here, just a light dusting. Then you take a piece of ham, put it on there like that, then take a pickle slice. So which pickles are you, are you using? Uh, these are just dill sandwich stuffers. Okay, they're not the... Not the the butter? No. Okay, just the regular ones. And I think this is important too. My ham is thin and the cheese is thin right here. It's just thin Swiss cheese. You bought that. Was that already in the pack or did you have Yeah, that? Okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I bought it at Food City. Okay. All so right. we got this. So what you do, you pick up just this edge. It's not working right, of course. It's, it, it, sometimes it doesn't work right. It's very frustrating. Well, frustrating as making good food can be. So there you go. It's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. See, yours look better than mine. I don't know. I learned this method on rolling. I'm a Civil War reenactor, so rolling cartridges. Okay. So I've rolled a bunch. I, I thought you might like smoke a lot of marijuana. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, okay. Take your uh, one piece of bacon, go across it long uh, lengthwise, flip it over. Pull it tight. Okay. I like that. Then you take another slice of bacon. And this is just regular sliced bacon. What I do, I'll sit here and take it and stretch it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Then you sit there and take it. Start right there on the end. More bacon. More bacon. More bacon. Who in their life has never said more bacon? 
<laughs> Everything's good with bacon. Everything's good with bacon. Even heart attacks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my last words. That's the bacon. Jason, you're doing good. So we went to the old fashioned way. Yeah, so, a little, <laughs> little technical difficulties a few minutes ago. So we've had to. Jason uh, talked me into using that. $150 tool that we just got rid of. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to mention something here in uh, in Pete's defense. Pete would put smoked good inside this. Yes, it he would. would. Have it. It. Probably yes, good. he would put smoked yeah. good in there. Yes, he would. He can't, make me something. So can't leave our buddy out. To, he's continuing to wrap it up. Uh-huh. Oh, that's it. That's it. And then before you cook it, So after you get it cubed, tricks around it, and it keeps the uh, the whole roll together. Man, that looks good, Steve. All right, that looks good, good Steve. Steve. Jason, doesn't that look good? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I tell you what. You know what would be cool is if you made some and brought them so we could eat them. Wow! The magic of TV. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, look at here, Mike. Here we go. Those up. The moment we've all been waiting on. Yeah, but those are smoke like things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's amazing how they changed. Yeah. Like I say, for a tailgate, you know, this is the ultimate right yeah. here. You'll be the talk of the town. And these rested for about 10 minutes. Come on in here, Jason. Get in there real good on that. Get tight. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, look, at, look at the tight. Yeah, there you look go. There's wow. that money shot right there. Wow. Look at that. Well, that butcher barbecue knife just goes right through it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Like butter.